Hello everybody, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to lead you through a quick 10 minute total core workout without any equipment. All you need today is something soft beneath you. Make sure you can see your screen so you can follow along with me. And without further ado, let's get to it. All right, so today's workout is a no repeat workout. So we're gonna be doing a new exercise every single minute. Our exercises today are 45 seconds on with a 15 second rest. We're gonna start off with some tabletop crunches. So legs in a tabletop position, you're going to reach fingertips underneath the knees and come back down. So you're pressing your low back to the floor every time you sit up. Get those shoulder blades up off the floor. Good, taking a quick 15 second rest, you're gonna stay down on your back. And we're going to hold a crunch position with palms facing the ceiling, making sure we have a nice space between our chin and our chest. And our legs are going to switch in an L position. So trying to keep the shoulder blades up off the floor. If your legs are not straight, that's totally okay. Just make sure those heels aren't touching the floor. If you need to modify, you can drop the head and have the hands on the floor, doing the same thing with your legs, making sure that your lower back is pressed into the floor. Good, we're gonna pop it up to our elbows. So sitting on our forearms, our chest is open and we're staying lifted in our chest, not sinking down here. Legs are gonna stay straight here or as straight as possible. And from here, you're gonna tap the toes to the floor and bring them back up. So we're holding, our quads are not moving. The upper half of our legs are staying still. And our upper half of our legs are far enough away from our body that we're feeling it in the low abs throughout the entirety of the movement. So make sure that you're not arching your back here. You're keeping your tailbone tucked under, bum tucked under. we're gonna flip it over into a high plank. So on our hands, we're gonna extend one leg, bring it into opposite elbow. So here, opposite elbow, back out to the same elbow and back to center, other leg. Lifting it up, opposite elbow, back to center, same elbow. Take everything nice and slow. Keep the body in a nice straight line. Nice job flipping it back over on our backs. Legs are up straight, arms are above head. You're going to crunch, reaching for the toes. Then from here, hold this crunch position, drop the legs, keep the back pressed to the floor, lift them back up and lower.
Good, staying down here on our backs. Next up, we're gonna do some single leg crunches. Arms above head, legs are extended. You're gonna come up, bending the knee, reaching for the ankle or reaching for the toes. Nice straight back and control all the way down other leg. So exhale as you crunch up. Think about bringing your belly button to your spine. Flip it over into a bear crawl position. So tabletop, shoulders stacked above wrist, hips stacked above knees. You're gonna tuck the toes under and you're gonna hover the knees keeping a straight back. You're gonna tap the knees to the ground without putting any weight on them. Lift it up, then you're gonna tap opposite toe. Down and up, tap the toe. If tapping the toe is too hard, you can just Lift the hand and tap opposite knee. Make sure you're coming back into this bear crawl position with a nice flat back. come back down on our backs and we're going to do a bicycle crunch but we're gonna extend our leg so you're gonna bring knee to opposite elbow then hold this position extend the leg bring it in and switch extend when you extend make sure you're not letting your back go here you want to keep this back Rest to the floor. If that means you need to hold your leg higher so you can keep this back on the floor to extend, then do so. Sit it up and next up we're going to do some ab twists or Russian twists you can do these with your feet on the ground or lifted and instead of keeping our hands close to our body we're gonna extend them so we're gonna make a nice big rainbow with the arms I find that I engage my core a lot more having my arms extended and away from the body Exercise coming into a low plank. So on our forearms, we're gonna bring the same knee to same elbow to the side. So nice and flat here, lifting one leg, bringing it to the elbow and back to center, nice and slow. Don't let that bum poke up as you bring the knee in or as you extend the leg back. Forget to breathe. And 
that is it guys. Great job. I hope you enjoyed this quick, intense 10 minute total core workout. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Let me know how you enjoyed it in the comments. If you're new here, make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn on your post notifications so you don't miss another video from me. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. If you enjoy my workout videos, then make sure to join me in the MadFit app. You'll get access to structured programs, challenges, exclusive workouts, recipes, and many more amazing features that will help you on your health and fitness journey. If you haven't already downloaded MadFit, make sure to click the link in the description and I will see you guys inside the app.